Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. So I'm doing this last minute Valentine's Day book um, using my Naked 2 palette. Um, as you can see, I went for a more dramatic look today with a red lip. I haven't done a red lip for the Valentine's Day looks that I've been doing, so I thought I should end it with a little va va boom, if you know what I mean. It's a look that I absolutely love just because it's so dramatic and I love red lips, so you know. If you don't have a Valentine, I will be your Valentine. Can can I be your Valentine? Will you be mine? I don't. Okay, so I just want to just throw that out there. Um, okay, because I love you so much. I do. I love you. So I just want to show you guys that I got my first Valentine. It's um, a box of chocolate covered strawberries. But and no, I don't have a secret admirer. I wish I did. That'd be so cute. Well, if he was cute or like you know not crazy it was just like such a nice surprise to get this today and i am excited to eat all of these chocolates booty call with a 207 brush by sedona lace now i'm gonna take teas with the mac 224 and i'm just gonna fluff this right into the crease and this will be my transition color. So I'm just taking little by little so that it doesn't look muddy or too harsh. I'm taking the 217 brush with the same color and I just want to really concentrate that into the crease. So I'm just going right there above my eyeball with this color. And just blend it on in. Now I'm taking Milani Shadow Eyes in Sand Dunes. This is going to make um, for a great base for my lid colors to really pop because they, they have that shimmer to them. So I'm putting it all over my eyelid. I'm going to take YDK in Booty Call with a small eyeshadow brush by Sonia Kashuk. So I'm taking Booty Call first and I'm going to apply that into the inner corner. Like so. Okay. Now I'm taking YDK, which is one of my all-time favorite Urban Decay eyeshadows. I love this color. I'm just going to apply that. Starting from the middle. Working outwards. I'm taking Busted with the 217 by MAC. A little bit of this color goes a really long way, so be careful. I'm starting right at the corner edge of the lid, just patting the color in so that it blends in nicely. And I'm going to start to take that into the crease. So just follow the shape of your crease like that. Pull it outward to blend it into the transition color. And take it in like that. In NYC's black liquid liner to line my eye. I'm not done with my crease, but I do I'm gonna do this before I finish up my crease. And now I'm taking Blackout, which is the matte black color, with a 219 and 217 by MAC. Just gonna work this into the crease. Um, starting from the outer corner, connecting this to the liquid liner that I just applied. I'm just going to concentrate this color right into the crease.
I pretty much just draw it in with the 219. And then go in with the 217. Whoops. There you go. And blend it out. King L'Oreal's Infallible um, Gel Liner with just an artist's flat shader brush. Now I'm doing my foundation with the Cover All by Wet n Wild. It is in Fair and I'm going to apply that on with a Sedona Lace 928 brush. It's just a flat top brush, one of my favorites for um, foundation. I'm also going to use the Wet n Wild Color All Concealer. So now I'm going to do lower lash line work. And I'm taking my gel liner that I used. Excuse the frizziness of my hair. It's like annoying me, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna line my waterline. I'm just gonna go in with some of the colors that I have in my crease, like Busted and Blackout. Taking Hula Bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers, as you can tell, and Sephora brush, this professional brush, natural powder brush. I'm just gonna lightly bronze. I don't want something too heavy. And as for blush, I want something super light. Um, so I'm taking Peach Akeem Blush by e.l.f. And this is what it looks like. It's a very, very subtle color, really. And I'm just taking a little bit and running that along the cheekbone. I want some highlight, and I'm taking my favorite highlight. This is my favorite highlight. It's by MAC, and it's called by candlelight it was one of my first um, msfs and i absolutely love it it's lasted me years it just gives a really nice glow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this brush is so soft So for my lips, I'm using Milani's True Red Lip Pencil and their um, Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Red My Lips. Mm. So I kind of exfoliate my lips. Yes, I did. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh no, I have to sharpen this. Good thing I'm prepared, huh?
Mm, I love it. So let's do the lip gloss. This is gonna be fun. I haven't used this yet, so we'll see how it is. This is has a little doe foot. Or it's like one of those um flexible ones. So it smells like vanilla. Should I leave it matte? I guess you can leave it matte if you want, but oh that's pretty. So this is the entire look. Super dramatic, but I love it. Um you can get away with dark eyes and bold lips as long as you make sure that your cheeks aren't too heavy because um, then you start to look like a little bit of a clown. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys have such a wonderful Valentine's Day. Whether you're um, single or not, like chill out. It's really not that big of a deal, but just make the whole day about love. love can be not only between two people who are intimate or lovers but you know with um friends and family and stuff and yourself so with all that said i want you to have a wonderful day take care god bless and i'll see you next time bye